Can someone tell me what the hell is happening out there? For God's sake, the country is coming apart at the scene. No, Mr. President, these riots are not ideologically motivated. Make no mistake, this is shopper mania and a fuck ton of it. I mean, I admit, he is cute. <laughs> and I'll come right out and say it. He has a fuzzy tummy. And I wouldn't mind tickling that little belly well. In fact, Morris, <clears throat> why don't you, uh... Oh, no, 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 Mr. President. Uh, I'm the Secretary of Defense. It's my job to protect the nation and you. I'll hold on to a little, uh, whippersnapper. That is enough. Enough, enough. <clears throat> um, one of my political heroes has always been John F. Kennedy. He saved this country from the Cuban Missile Crisis by keeping a cool head. That is what we need now, fellas. Cool heads. So, while you three devise a strategy, I'll hold on to the Wiggly. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Morris, I am the goddamn president of the United States of America, and I order you to hand me that fucking doll! He's not your friend, when he's mine! I'm gonna tickle that doll. No! He's mine! Back off or I will send a laser-guided ballistic missile to your house in Denver. You'll be scraping off what's left of your kids off the fucking pavement. Morris, give me that cock-sucking motherfucking cock doodle Oh my god! I almost killed you, Mr. President! Into the Oval Office? <laughs> Who the hell are you? I've never heard of you guys. <sighs> what do you mean? Certain situations? Behind the veil of the universe you perceive are entities both ageless and foul. And these eldritch forces are rising. Mr. President, if humanity is going to have any hope for survival, to borrow an expression, we're stepping out of the blue and into the black. Stake, stand on up. So now, there are monsters, that, there are forces in this world. Lucky hand for a scrum that's undermanned. The truly good versus the truly bad. Ha! You better learn to discern it quickly, boys. It's the only chance we have. Join the only fight that's left. And scour the black and white. For there are monsters and there are men. There are monsters that live in your head. It is the monsters who should live in dread. The black and white. Oh, we're not exactly dealing with terrorists here. But what do you want from me? Look me in the eye now, sir, and make a solemn vow to become your. I know our opponents. But there's occasions met by lesser men who took the lead. Yeah. It must be you, it must be me, never take my office lightly. You must fill your heart, make good with God immediately. It is the monsters who shall live in dread, so join the fight. When monsters are real, you better forge a heart of steel. Cast the darkness from light. 